tough sledding there for the Lions last year, man. We were so close. Let me ask you guys a question. So, sure. Because uh, I've thought about this, like, in my when I've done videos before, and I think I've even posed it to people. Because, you know, you, you ask questions and people think that you're trying to um, elicit comments on your videos to get more views. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. So this is a this is a, a forum where I can do this and, and be hopefully um, truly un understood and interpreted. How does it feel to be a Lions fan? And in the last, let's see, two years ago at this time, right, August of 2022, you haven't gone through that <clears throat> winning eight games in 10 game stretch that, to finish the 2022 season. How does it feel to have, you know, 24 months later gone through where now you as a fan base and fans are are criticizing or critiquing, you know, specific little moves to try to, you know, to try to perfect the outcome, I guess, and force an outcome that you want. I mean, I can I'm a Ravens fan, you know, for for 20 years. and We've been very blessed to be very good for the most, you know, the vast majority of that. So how does it feel? And then, like, do you ever sit back and like appreciate it because I hope that you do. I hope, you know, I really hope that you do. I, I want that for the people that watch my videos and are gracious enough to to comment and, and be so kind to me. Yeah, Eric, I'll let you go first because you're the ultimate fan uh, of positivity. Listen, coach, I went to all three playoff games this year and that first playoff game against the Rams, Jared Goff puts his arms up in the air in the fourth quarter with less than a minute to go, and we win the game. I had tears rolling down my face. 32 years since I'd seen anything like this where we won a friggin' playoff game. And I, we're so hungry for this. We've been waiting for it for so long. So for us to finally turn the corner, it, it's kind of different. It, it's, it's unknown territory for us, but we've quickly jumped in the driver's seat and we don't want to give it up. That's exactly what we don't want to do. We want to we want to go the rest of the way. We want to take the rest of this journey. I want to know what it feels like to win a Super Bowl, and that's going to happen this year. I hope you're right on that. Um, Cake Man says, as a Lions fan, having felt what I felt, it's almost life-changing how awesome we are, and it's so beyond fun right now. And I think that that's the key word, uh, Coach, here, is, is it's fun. So... 25 years season ticket holder myself. I've been watching the Lions ever since I was four years old when I went to my first game where uh, Billy Sims was in the game uh, that, that day. Got to go on the field after the game and, you know. You're as old as me. Yeah, meet a handful. 44 this year. So <laughs> meet a handful of, uh, of players. You know, I think it was like a, some sort of family fun day that day. But I was four years old. I don't remember any of it. I just saw pictures. So 2022 let me, let, me, let me back up. So 2021 was a mess, but I expected it. I mean, we completely scrapped the entire team. And, and bringing in what was probably the absolute worst roster in the NFL already was decimated by cutting 85% of the players that year and starting anew. So I expected to have a big hurdle. I expected, you know, for it to be brutal before it got better. And, and it was exactly that. But what I saw in each and every game was this team fought. It did not matter that they lost six in a row or five in a row. They still fought in every game, and, and that gave me enough feeling to say, okay, something's different here. What's going to happen next year? And then next year we start one and six, and Sheila comes to the mic, and you know fans are clamoring to fire Dan and fire Brad, and you know, wow, well, if that would have happened, this wouldn't have happened this last year. Um, but Sheila comes to the mic and tells us just to kind of relax. You know, like we've got a process. We're, we're, we're not even halfway through this process yet. A lot of fans didn't realize that, you know, from a complete teardown and rebuild is different than just a retooling. When you start with 15% of, of an existing roster and now you're bringing in the youngest team pretty much two seasons in a row, it's going to take a minute. And then it was like, what, week nine or 10, uh, the Lions start to win. And then they win a couple in a row. And then it's, you know, they win the last eight of 10 games. And it was at that point, I'm like, okay, we have something here. These guys are fully bought in. Dan Campbell has obviously affected, you know, this team in, in multiple ways, but not only is Brad Holmes hitting on almost every draft pick, but Dan Campbell and his team are able to coach these guys and develop. And that was the first time I watched players develop from year one to year two, where we're seeing big leaps forward. And it was, it was then that I knew that this was going to be different for us. And then of course, 2023 happens and I had all the confidence finally in the world that, you know, we were going to do something, but I still told everybody on this show multiple times that we are half a season ahead of ourselves. We needed the 2024 draft 
to take that next step because we we didn't have what we needed. We just didn't know what it was going to be yet. But after watching six or seven games, well, I knew the DB room was a problem and interior defensive line needed to get addressed. And that's what I projected was going to happen this season. And it did. Now I feel like we have the tools to get there. We have the coach to get there. We have the right mentors to get there. Uh, each positional group coach is great at what they do. And all of these players have bought in and it's a different feeling now in Motown and around the city. But to answer, to really answer your question, like, you know, yeah, we are, we're nitpicking now. It's like, we went from the the bottom dwellers to now it's it's almost like we're conceited Lions fans because we feel like we should be we should be this good and and man we we better hit on this player and Brad yeah. Holmes better get this guy and we better not lose to this team like we need to temper our expectations a little bit here it's only been one year but I get it we've been suffering for so long there is no other way to feel right now than positivity so it's That's a great awesome. it's I, a great feeling I'm man. Glad. It's resurrected. I'm glad to hear that. 